psalms, I will say, oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. Yeah, he is. For his mercy yeah. endures forever. Yeah. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Yeah. Whom he hath redeemed from the hand of the enemy. Oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful mercy to which he has done to his children. We are part of the fellowship of the unashamed. We have Holy Ghost power. We won't go back, slow down, or back up. Because God has been good to us. We will not flinch, hesitate, negotiate, nor meander. Because God has been that good to us. We cannot be bought, compromised, need or put away.
You need to go to quarantine one day. They are right now.
few moments today with your prayers of God's power. I want to preach. I'm stronger because of the struggle. Yes. I'm stronger because of the struggle. I'm stronger because of the struggle. Yes, sir. My dear friends, today, today is actually day number 241 of the year 2021. And looking back over the year thus far, many of us could describe what has happened as chaotic, confusing, uncomfortable, uncertain, There is a sense of discomfort that we are all experiencing. And I want to submit to you today that there is a reason behind it. That it is connected to a period, hear me closely, of waiting and of suffering. But at the end of this trial, oh, oh. Yes. there is a reward. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. And so we come to the understanding that the suffering, the after we go through suffering, yes. victory yes, is yes, yes, our reward. Yes. things look before God started to create. The earth was without form and void and darkness over the earth. In other words, what God saw was utter chaos. But in the midst of chaos, God created something out of nothing. And really, that was a good place for us to pause for because if we look back over our yeah. own lives yeah. Yeah. and we see who we were right. as compared as to who we are yeah. right now, those of us who know yeah. to be fake and phony, yeah. we can testify that he took me yeah. and made something beautiful. Oh, 
The first thing that I see, I'm not talking about you, the first thing that I see is a productive predicament. Hallelujah. Though I walk in the midst of trouble, thou will revive me. Stop right there. So, so you need to see these words. Walk, trouble, and revive. It indicates productive predicament. Walk signifies advancement. Yes, sir. And that's why we have issues in our lives. It's because we are advancing. And I pray that you will receive what I'm telling you. Because if you were not advancing, you would not draw the enemy's attention. <laughs> Though I walk in the middle of trouble, here it is. Though I advance in the middle of trouble, and you know that God is with you when you can advance in the middle of trouble. Come on, Bishop. Yeah. Trouble means counterproductive. Yes. Trouble comes to get you to be counterproductive. Yes. But the text says that though I advance in the middle of counterproductivity, thy will teach Bishop revive me. Yes. Revive means to live. Yes. Um, so would you ever find your neighbor and tell them we're, we're going to make it through this. <laughs> Not only that, but it is, here is a causative term. It means that I am living yes. in conditions that I ought to be dying. And some of us realize that we are living in some conditions. That everything about the condition says that things could be way different. Y'all are not shouting, but I could be on the elevator. But I'm free. So I need 
need you to visualize. I need you to, to see what's being said in the text. The text says, when the enemy comes, thy shall stretch forth thine hand. I'm stop right there. Stop right there. I want to look at your own Bible. You know what I did make it up. Hand, look at your Bible, is singular. Yes, sir. Why is it singular, Pastor? Because my enemy is so irrelevant to God <laughs> that he only needs one hand <laughs> to deal with all of my enemy. I need you to see that in verse 27 of Psalm 138. After the word enemies, there is a comma, and then the word and, which signifies, I'm coming, a conjunction. Yes. Uh, so the word teach, and sir, teach. indicates the action of two or more events Here it is, happening at the same, same time. And the uh, right hand, it means, here it is, that the action before that was done with God's left hand. And, and so what is happening is, thou shalt stretch forth thine hand. And wrath means that the enemy is giving me his best shot. And God is blocking all of that with his left hand. And with his right hand, he shall save me. So if you were dying of thirst and you wanted me, to save you. I do it by giving you something to drink. Yeah. If you were dying of hunger and if I was going to save you, I do it by giving you something to eat. So salvation <laughs> is us receiving what we need Come on, Bishop. at the time that we need it. And so God keeps saving us every day. And so with his left hand, he is protecting me. And with his right hand, he has it on my situation. And so when we look at the text, oh, there is a productive predicament. The text says that there is preeminent protection. And so when I looked at the text again, I saw one last element. And that is patent protection. Patent perfection. Patent means that it is one of a kind. Which means that it cannot be used without the permission of the Creator. And therefore, <laughs> does anything against our life. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's only because he had to go to God and get permission first. And all I want to tell you is that Satan cannot lift his hand until he gets permission from God. And whenever he gets God's permission, it's only because 
Jesus is for the good. Working on me until you see what you are. 